the most common question the buyers are asking us is how is the purchase process on Tenerife? First step is come over if you are not already here and schedule a viewing with us. We will show you the property and then you can decide if you like it and what to buy. We can also organize the viewings of the property which are not on our website. We are collaborating with most of the agents on Tenerife, so you can also choose any other properties from other agent portfolios and we will also organize a viewing for you. It's not obligatory by law to visit the property and we had already some clients who bought the property before viewing it. However, we strongly recommend to view the property first. So, you have found the property which you like and you would like to buy it. The most common thing to do is to sign a preliminary contract, reservation contract, or so-called in Spanish contrato de aras. Signing this kind of contract gives the seller time to move out and to prepare the documents needed and for you as a buyer gives you time to prepare the funds and also prepare the documents which will be needed for the notary closing. Reservation contract is usually made with 10% deposit and in this document you set all additional conditions like a deadline to the notary closing and any other additional conditions and obviously that the property will be sold debt free. Please note, it is not obligatory to sign a reservation contract. In some cases, you can go directly to the notary. Sometimes, prior to reservation, there is some room for negotiation. You can negotiate the price, payment form, furniture and the notary date. If you wish to negotiate, you will be given an offer form. We will ask you to fill it in, to write your personal details and to write what you would like to offer. We will ask you to make a deposit on the offer. If the offer is not accepted, we will wire back the money to you. However, once the offer is accepted, it makes part of a down payment and it's not refundable should you step back. For both offering and reservations, there is no need to be on the island. It can be made via emails and wire transfers. For the exchange of contracts at the notary, it is essential that you personally are present or you assign a person with power of attorney to represent you on your behalf. Generally, from the buying party, only two documents will be needed. A valid passport or ID and NIE number. Additionally, most likely you will need a bank account in Spain to issue a bank draft for the notary closing. However, in some cases, the transaction is made via our depository account or via notary depository account. Buying a property on Canary Islands, you will be liable to transaction tax, which is 6.5% of the purchase price. And as a buyer, you are also responsible for notary fees, which is around few hundred euros, and the fees of the land registry to inscribe you as a new owner of your property. Usually, buyers decide also to hire Estoria to change utility bills in their name. I hope this video was helpful. Please do not hesitate to contact us for any additional questions. We are looking forward to hearing from you.